Hi, here in this video, let's discuss Mumu by Ivan Turgenev. Mumu is a short story by Ivan Turgenev, a Russian novelist and short story writer, written in 1852. Mumu, therefore, is an intense exploration of serfdom and the position of the Russian peasantry. Gerasim, the main character, is meant to represent the Russian peasant at his most raw, strong but mute, submissive yet resistant. Let's look at the summary. The summary. Mumu. Mumu is a short story by Ivan Turgenev, a Russian novelist and story writer. Written in 1854, the story of Gerasim, a deaf and mute serf whose life of poverty is brought into sharp relief by his connection with Mumu, a dog he rescued, brought greater national attention to the cruelties of serfdom, and received praise for its brutal portrayal of this institution in Russian society. Plot Summary The story opens in Moscow, at the home of an unnamed, wealthy, and elderly widow. Mean and spiteful, she has been abandoned by whatever living friends and relatives she still has. The exposition then focuses on one of her porters, Gerasim. A man from the countryside. Born deaf and mute. He communicates with the other servants of the estate via hand signs. He is a man of almost superhuman strength, and was renowned in the country for his work in the fields. After being taken from his village, he eventually settles into life in the city. And, while his presence inspires fear in the other servants, he is able to remain on at least cordial terms with them. During this time, Gerasim becomes infatuated with Tatiana, the mistress laundress. He offers her gifts, including a gingerbread chicken, and follows her, smiling and making his characteristic unintelligible noises. His affection is quite protective, and he threatens a servant who nags her too severely. In another incident, Captain Klimov, the widow's shoemaker, speaks too attentively with Tatiana, and is, too, threatened by Gerasim. Captain, a drunkard who feels unfairly castigated for his vices, is chosen by the mistress to be married off. Speaking with her head steward, Gavrila, the widow decides that Captain shall marry Tatiana. Gavrila, aware of Gerasim's affections but unable to disagree with his master, relates this to Captain, who reacts with fear but ultimately agrees. He then informs Tatiana, who acquiesces but echoes the same concerns. Gavrila comes up with a plan, and, noting Gerasim's hatred of drunkards, has Tatiana pretend to be drunk in his presence. The plot succeeds, and Tatiana and Capitan are married. However, Capitan's drinking only worsens, and he and his wife are sent away after a year to a small village. As they depart, Gerasim follows them, and hands Tatiana a red handkerchief, causing her to burst into tears. During this walk, Gerasim encounters a dog drowning in a river. He saves her, whom he names Mumu, and nurses her back to health. He loves Mumu passionately, and she follows him around throughout his daily activities. After a year, the mistress sees Mumu in the yard, and has the dog brought to her. Mumu reacts poorly to the mistress, baring her teeth. The following day, Gavrila is ordered to get rid of Mumu whose barking disturbs the widow, and he has the footman. Stepan, ambush the dog behind Gerasim's back and sell her in the market. Gerasim, distraught, searches for Mumu for the entire day, but Mumu returns. He learns that Mumu's disappearance was an order from his lady, and begins hiding his dog in his room. However, Mumu's whining is still audible, and when she is finally brought into the yard, her barking alerts the mistress to her presence. Knowing that the servants will be coming for Mumu, Gerasim barricades himself with her in his room. But, after Gavril assigns to him, explaining the situation, he promises to get rid of Mumu himself. He brings her to a cookshop, giving her a final treat before traveling to the river where he found her, commandeering a rowboat, and eventually drowns her. Bringing his rescue of her full circle, he is followed by Eroshka, another servant, 
who reports back to the others. However, Girasim does not return until night, when he gathers his things and then departs walking back to his old village. The mistress, initially angry, decides not to search for him. And soon dies. The story concludes with Girasim returned to his fields, helping reap the harvest. End of the summary. Thank you.